you're looking live now at a breaking traffic alert on the north side, I-95 southbound near Pecan Park Road. It appears multiple cars were in a wreck. And you can see the result, a lot of backups. Comes as a lot of people are leaving town this evening for the Memorial Day holiday weekend. It's busy on the roads and in the skies. A live look for you now at flightaware.com showing current flights. Already more than 1,100 flights have had to be canceled within the U.S. But some say it's worth dealing with the headaches of flying in order to avoid those high gas prices. News for Jack's reporter Janice Harris spoke with travelers about how they're dealing with the high prices this holiday weekend. Janice? You know, it started out with the pandemic for about two years where people were deciding that they weren't going to travel. Now it's gas prices that are giving some people pause. Some people are still going to leave town while others say they're staying home. Expect traffic and lots of people for this Memorial Day weekend, but some are staying home because of the price at the pump. It's just crazy. It's ridiculous. You know, I hope something happens that it changes this this crisis, this economy. According to AAA, an average gallon of regular gas is $4.58 in Florida and $4.13 in Georgia. Karen told me she's moving this week, but even if she has free time for the holiday weekend. No, no, not, not right now. Um, maybe in the future if something happens, if you know the gas prices come down, but it's, it's a luxury now to have to go and drive miles and miles to go have fun with your kids. Uh, you really have to think it twice. AAA predicts more than 30 million people will travel for Memorial Day weekend despite the gas prices. So I checked to see if gas prices are below $4 anywhere in the country. No, every state in the continental United States is over $4 a gallon. Are you going to do any like road trip traveling for Memorial Day weekend? No, not us. No. Is it because of gas prices? Well, it affects, it, it goes along, uh, stretched out through uh, f air flights, um, trucking, you know, food. We've, we notice it in our food prices. AAA predicts 100,000 more Floridians will take a road trip this Memorial Day compared to last year. That's a 5.4% increase. And the last man that I spoke with, he told me he was also concerned about prices going up at the grocery store because he was trying to buy his typical meat to barbecue for Memorial Day. It's not going to happen this year. But also coming up tonight at 6, we're going to hear from people here at Jacksonville Beach talking about what you can expect and the danger you'll want to be mindful of if you come out here to check out the ocean for the holiday weekend. Reporting live, Janice Harris, Channel 4, The Local Station.